Good evening everybody and welcome back to JWE Friday Night Eclipse. We are here in Madison, Wisconsin, where we are one show away from our 8-bit brawl pay-per-view event coming this Sunday. We have 8 exciting matches lined up for you all tonight, so get ready for a night of high intensity action and drama, because this, as always, is Eclipse. And to start off our matches here tonight, introducing first, it is the change bringer herself, Delta. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, And Delta very quickly and very easily falling behind in her rivalry with Lexi. And um, looking to bounce back a little bit uh, by taking on somebody else. Yeah, apparently bashing your head against the wall ten times and expecting ten different results isn't exactly the best course of action. So instead of taking on her rival, she decided to not do that. And that opponent is Fiora. And referee rings the bell, both women meeting in the middle of the ring with Fiora, immediately beginning with a springboard double leg drop kick. Now picking Delta up by her hair and a dragon screw takedown into the leg breaker. And picking Delta back up by her hair again, double high kick, now some kicks to the chest, to the shoulders. And a face buster going for the quick pin. There's one, but nothing more as Delta very easily kicks out. And rolling out of the way of that punch. Whiffing on the punch herself and Fiora with the springboard Superman punch. And another pin attempt. There's one. There's two. Fiora, Delta kicks out. And Fiora with the stomps to the face, failing to pick up Delta, but a couple of right hands find their way through, and Fiora picking Delta up, rolling backbreaker. Picking Delta back up to her feet, and a spinning, jumping knee strike. And now jumping immediately to the top rope, diving elbow, but Delta seeing that coming, getting out of the way. And a running face buster. Now taunting Fiora just a little bit, and Fiora not taking kind kindly to that. Running clothesline into the uh, corkscrew splash to the outside. A stomp to the, to the lower back. And Fiora tossing Delta up the ramp. And they are so far away from the uh, from the ring, just giving the fans a show here. Stomp to the wrist, catching it between the sole of her feet, uh, sole of her foot, and the glass of the uh, of the ramp as Delta connects with 
the Dragon Screw takedown, but Fiora with an arm drag of her own. Referee at a six count. They're pushing this right up to the very edge. Fiora picking Delta back up to her feet. And looking to walk her back to the ring, but Delta with some elbows to get out. And now the right hand, there's eight. Delta heading into the ring. Fiora following her in. Spinning heel kick as soon as she enters the ring. Fiora going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Delta powers out. Now Fiora forcing Delta back up to her feet. Another right hand. Another kick to the gut. And a spinning backbreaker into just a falling backbreaker. And another dragon screw takedown into another leg breaker. And Delta seems like she can't really get much momentum going on her side as Fiora heading to the corner, diving elbow. This time Delta does not get out of the way. Fiora going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Delta still getting her shoulder up. It's not quite over, but I don't see a way that Delta can uh, get back into this. Spinning leg drop by Fiora going for a, probably the fifth pin of this match. There's one. There's two. And I'm going to run that back. And referee rings the bell. Delta looking for the immediate punch, but Fioro catching that. And a takedown into a kick to the shoulder. Picking Delta up to her feet. Kick to the thigh. Just a knee to the chest. High kick. Continuing the combo and the hair pull takedown and the stomp to the arm. And now pulling... The arm out of the socket basically stomped to the injured or to the arm that she just pulled. And continuing to work on the left arm. She stomps it right into the mat. And it will stomp to the back of the head. Rolling Delta onto her back and the right hands. And Fiora spearing Delta off the off the apron, climbing to the top rope. Telling Delta to get up to her feet. And looking for the top rope RKO, but Delta stepping out of the way. Picking Fiora up. And the 12-6 elbows to the top of the uh, top of the head. And Delta with a suplex connecting to the apron. And a running face buster. Referee at a three count. Stomped the face. There's four. As Delta tosses Fiora back in. And now climbing back into the ring. Fiora immediately connecting with a rolling heel kick. And the left hands finding their way through Delta's guard. Stomp to the hand. And Fiora with the ground and pound. Now stomp to the back of the head and... Delta quickly losing mo the momentum that she had. Leg drop arm breaker. Fiora picking Delta back up. Tossing her into the corner. And a spinning power bomb going for the pin. There's one. Delta kicks out. Fiora picking Delta back up. 
And with the wrist clutch into the arm drag takedown and a uh, Fujiwara armbar looking uh, submission. The Delta getting out, stomp to the thigh and just too busy taunting to the crowd. Delta, you are in absolutely no place to be doing that. We are going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Delta kicks out. Standing corkscrew splash. Going for another pin. There's one. There's two. And another two count. As Fiora picks Delta back up to her feet. Tripping her up. There's a spinning leg drop going for the pin. There's one. There's two. And Delta unable to kick out. And she just cannot have anything. Don't know what's going on with her right now. And things are not looking good for Delta at all. What is... Seriously, what is going on? And now for our next matchup. Introducing first... It is... Representing the Skeletal Legion... Jaren. And his opponent, who is uh, certainly not going to have a good time in the ring here tonight. It is the one and only bear from the TV world, Teddy.
And the referee rings the bell. Teddy immediately making his way over to Jaren. A punch to the chest plate and now walking him to the northern ropes. Snapmere uh, climbing to the middle rope and a 180 crossbody splash. Now Jaren, or uh, excuse me, Teddy pulling on the arm. And a jumping knee right to the bridge of the helmet. Rolling elbow drop connects. A punch to the uh, right below the ribs and a nice little combo by Teddy. Picking Jaren up. And a wrist clutch into a single arm pickup. And just a drop kick to the temple. And a knee slam. And again by Teddy. I thought that he wasn't going to have a good time, but he seems to be firmly in control right now. Looking for the kick, but just barely off target. And now Jaren taking full advantage. Punch right to the side of the head, going for the pin. There's one, Teddy kicks out. Now Jaren just taunting a little bit too much. Teddy with a big boot kicking him right into the corner. And a jumping leg uh, leg drop. And now Praetorian Bones distracting Teddy. Allowing Jaren back to his feet. Tending him for a run just tumbling to the outside. And uh, now we have a chair in the ring. Referee. Picking it up and tossing it to the outside, but yeah, that just goes to show that the Skeleton Legion, uh, they're going to pretty much do whatever it takes to win these matches. And Praetorian Bones again distracting Teddy as Jaren tries to catch his breath on the ropes. Bones giving Jaren just enough time, but Teddy... Continuing the offense, jumping heel strike, picking Jaren back up. And a 180 slam going for the pin. There's one. There's two. And Jaren unable to kick out despite his team's best efforts. And now for our first Tornado Tag Match of the evening. Introducing first, it is the former Tag Team Champions, the Gestalt Sisters. And their opponents, finally a night without the Harmonious Truth in the ring. Instead, it is the Killer Tunes. The 
Kaede Akamatsu and Maki Harukawa making their return to the ring tonight as a tag team. And referee rings the bell. It's immediately the Vola versus Kaede and Popola versus Maki as Popola sends Maki down to the ground. And now Popola going for a uh, standing submission attempt on Kaede, but Maki trying to break that up. Kaede eventually getting out on her own power. And a running kick attempt, but couple of blocking that and a 360 stunner by Devola going for a pin there's one there's two Kaede kicks out now Devola just working on the neck of Kaede sending her down to the mat and some kicks to the mid back Kick to the chest. Now a wrist clutch. And... Poplo is trying to go for a uh, scorpion clutch submission on Maki who... quite quickly got out. But now... Devola going for the pin. There's one, there's two. Maki kicks out. Going for the stump, but Maki with the reversal and tripping Devola up. There's yep, Devola. And now sending Devola into the corner and a running Superman punch. Slip in the clothesline and the spear. Now Devola forced Devola to the outside. Maki following her with a jumping knee strike. Now heading into the ring and sliding back out. As Maki just works on Devola on the outside, Pompla pulling on the arm of Kaede. Devola kicking Maki off of her. And a backbreaker. Picking Maki back up and a right hook. Kaede getting out of the way of that double knee strike. Tackling uh, Popola down to the ground. And pulling on the arm. Maki with the reversal on the, uh, on the outside. And Kaede with a kick to the gut. And looking for a standing submission attempt on Popola. Popola very easily getting out of that. And a little bit of confusion on where everyone wants to go. As they just uh, find their same partners and continue their fight. Popola with a leg breaker on Kaede. And Maki with a stunner against Devola on the outside. And Popola picking Kaede back up to her feet, tossing her against the ropes, bouncing her off, diving underneath and jumping over the top. And a twirling face buster. Kaede rolling out of the way, uh, out of the way but Popola with the corner punches and the corner sit out power bomb. Now, 
Knee strike by Popola, but Maki coming to her uh, partner's aid, forcing Devola, or excuse me, forcing Popola out to the uh, to the outside of the ring. Maki climbing up top, diving elbow drop connects. And now Maki going for the pin. Devola's gonna break that up easily. And now a kick to the back of Kaede. And Popola with a head scissor takedown, but Maki very quickly back to her feet. Running Superman punch blocked. And a head scissor takedown by Popola. And Kaede with a bowing face buster. Is setting up the pin. There's one, there's two. Devola easily getting her shoulder up. Not entirely sure how Kaede thought that that was going to be a good pin attempt. Stomp to the wrist. And Kaede just taunting on Devola as Maki picks Popla up and setting up the F5. That connects. And going for the pin, referee. In position, but not in time as Popola kicks out before the referee could even start the count. And now Maki sending Popola to the outside and uh, overestimating or underestimating her power as she was looking for the grab. And the Killer Tunes looking to uh, be in full control here as Maki hits. Uh, hits the spear, going for the pin, there's one, there's two, Apollo kicks out. Maki forcing Apollo back to her feet, tossing her back into the ring, as Kaede hits the neck breaker. And Devola with the reversal, looking for the Superman punch, Kaede with the block and the standing submission, Popola getting out of the way of that corner drop kick. And coming to her sister's aid just in time. Rolling neck breaker by Maki. But Popola tripping her up, picking Maki back up to her feet. And a single knee stunner. And now a punch to the back of Kaede and sending her face first into the ring post. Popola looking to solo this. Kick to the back of Kaede. And now looking for the standing submission, but Maki with the reversal. Apollo with the toss, Maki with the face buster. Apollo looking for the finisher, but Maki un or, uh, preventing her from doing so. And the single leg suplexes. Maki not going for a pin yet as Apollo very quickly to her feet. There's one, there's two. Maki kicks out. And now, Devola going for a pin, there's one. There's two, Kaede kicks out. Big kick by Popola, I'm surprised that those are both two counts. Locking the legs, Kaede with the knife edge chomp. And a suplex. Head scissor toss by Popola. Devola tripping Kaede up, not going for the pin right away. Instead, Popola looking for a stand or a, for a submission. And Devola with a face buster on Kaede. Going for the pin, Maki out of the submission just in time to break that up.
And now a jumping face buster by Maki, not going for the pin. Instead, now focus on uh, Papua. Looking for the head scissor toss, but Maki with the reversal. The takedown. And now looking to go after Devola, instead going after Papua. Kaede with the neck breaker. And I think the next pin's going to do it, just if they're smart enough to actually go for a pin. Kaede. Referee not in position, there's one. There's two, and like I said, next pin's going to do it. And the next pin did indeed do it. Pretty rare victory for the Killer Tunes. Very nicely fought from the two of them. A very back and forth uh, match between the two teams. And uh, hopefully this is a sign that the new tuners that I'm trying are actually working. And for our next matchup, introducing first, it is Rantaro Amami. And a rare single showing here from Rantaro. He's usually in the uh, tag team scene with his uh, partner uh, Kokichioma, but well, let's see how he does. Uh, let's uh, let's see how he does tonight. The ultimate adventurer adventuring out. And his opponent, it is your men's universal champion, Gundam Tanaka. And oh god, they got him too, didn't he? Or didn't they? Okay, so I'm getting word that Gundam is not technically a part of Osa, Osa Legio Vivit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting word that Gundam isn't officially part of the Skeletal Legion. He is not brainwashed, he has not joined the ranks. Instead, he is just a supporter, I guess. And Osa Legio Vivit, or Legio Vivit, the Legion of Bones lives in Latin. So I guess this is just his way of showing his support.
and referee rings the bell, both men meeting in the middle of the ring with Gundam immediately grabbing uh, control of Rantaro, walking him over to the western ropes, but Rantaro with the back elbow, looking for the grab, but Gundam stepping back. And a twirling neckbreaker into a double leg drop kick. And a stomp to the back. Rantaro with a possum kick. But Gundam with another reversal right back. Sending Rantaro for a run. And a single arm drag takedown. Looking for the double leg drop kick, but Rantaro rolling out of the way. And now tossing Gundam over the top rope, tumbling to the outside. And a rolling neck breaker. Into the uh, insult to injury crossbody. Gundam getting out of the way of the uh, a forearm. And a rolling neck breaker into a double leg drop kick. And a falling neck breaker picking Rantaro back up to his feet. Picking him up over the shoulders. And a sit down neck breaker. There's a five count. Gundam picking Rantaro up and a kick or a elbow to the stomach. Sending him down, picking him back up and tossing Rantaro back into the ring. Climbing to the top rope. Diving elbow drop connects to the middle of the spine. Going for the pin. There's one. Rantaro kicks out. And now Gundam regaining control, tossing Rantaro for a run, diving underneath, jumping over him. And a twirling backbreaker, picking Rantaro back up, again continuing the offense, but Rantaro kicking him in the stomach in the reversal. Gundam regaining control, walking Rantaro to the southern ropes. And working on his arm. Sending him for a run, and another twirling arm drag. To a falling face buster. And now Gundam in the corner looking for the demon kick. Lining himself up. But Rantaro getting his hands up just in time to block it. And sending Gundam for a run. Backflip, um, drop kick, and now the crossbody guillotine, kicking Gundam right in the spine. Gundam with the arm pull takedown, kicking Rantaro back up to his feet, and the snap mirror, kicking Rantaro back up. And the tilt a whirl arm breaker into the face buster and the pin. There's one. There's two. Rantaro kicks out. And Gundam looking for his signature kick to the gut, but Rantaro again blocking it. But Gundam with the kick, letting it go through anyway. Reversing the reversal. And now a spear to the outside. Rantaro kicking Gundam off of him. And tossing him into the ring, climbing in himself, Gundam quickly to his feet. Tossing Rantaro for a run and another. Arm drag takedown into the drop kick. And the pin. This could very easily be a rope break. There's one. There's two. Rantaro kicks out. But Gundam continuing the offense. Stomps to the back of the head. And an elbow drop right to the sternum. Gundam completely missing on the spear. 
excuse me, completely missing on the spear. And Rantaro with a standing bulldog. Gundam making his way to the corner. Gundam, uh, Rantaro sending him for a run, but whiffing on the spear. But still getting the backbreaker and the neckbreaker just in time. And now connects with the spear. And going for the pin, there's one. There's two Gundam powers out. Jumping knee strike connects. Rantaro picking Gundam to his feet, turning him around over the shoulders. And the terminating knee smash, there's one. There's two Gundam powers out. And now Rantaro making his way to the top rope. Diving elbow drop connects. And Rantaro going for the pin. There's one. Gundam powers out only at a one count. Gundam with the Dragon Screw takedown reversal. And sending Rantaro head first into the mat. 12 6 elbow. And looking for the rolling elbow, but Rantaro getting out of the way. Gundam with the reversal right back. And now heading back into the corner. Not quite. Now Gundam still not into the corner. Stomping on the hand, and he's teased us for the third time in a row. Jumping arm breaker. Can Gundam please make up his mind? Still not in the corner, instead deciding to stomp on the back of the head. And now, he's in the corner looking for the demon kick. Lining himself up. Will he connect this time? Yes, he will. Sending Rantaro down to the mat. Going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Rantaro kicks out. Now Gundam to the top rope. Diving arm drag from the top rope. And if you hear that, there's like 10,000 motorcycles outside. Gundam sending Rantaro for a run into the corner. Pulling him away, bouncing him off, and a double leg drop kick. Setting him up nicely for the pin. There's one. There's two, and Rantaro is not going to kick out this time. And Gundam Tanaka. Gets it done tonight. Here is your winner, Demon Goodmanson Tanaka. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like Gundam's support for the Skeleton Legion might have just given him, no, enough of that otherworldly power to get it done here tonight. Although, of course, Gundam has been on a pretty hot streak as of late anyway, so it could very well just be him. And for our next Tornado Tag match of the evening... Introducing first, it is the Shadow Slayers.
The following is a Tornado Tag Team Match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 265 pounds, the Steiner Brothers. And when you hear those horns, you know exactly what time it is. It is time for the Big Bang Theory to bring the swag here tonight. Yeah, it's the Big Bang Theory. Your men's tag team champions looking to defend the belt tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, in two days on Sunday. Here we go, both teams ready. Referee rings the bell. And Shuichi completely whiffing on a punch already. Rolling neckbreaker, Shuichi going for the pin. There's one. There's two, Junpei kicks out. And a dragon screw takedown from Shuichi. And now going after uh, Junpei and looking for a submission quite early, but Makoto breaking that up. Kaito heading in, in uh, back into the ring, but Makoto immediately making him pay. Now Junpei picking Kaito up and a, a powerbomb takedown. Shuichi with a knee to the face. Makoto with a rolling arm breaker, Junpei immediately jumping on. Kick to the gut. And a rolling neck breaker, Makoto picking Shuichi up. But Shuichi, uh, never mind Makoto with the reversal. I thought Shui, uh, Makoto with the uh, stunner, I thought Shuichi uh, reversed, but nope. And speaking of Shuichi, he did get to me, or he did get back to me about uh, some findings that he had uh, with his investigation. Notably that he found um, what he thinks, he's not, he hasn't 100% confirmed it yet, but what he thinks is a... Uh, Uh, one of those skeleton masks in um, trying to remember whose it was I think it was Nagito's locker and Makoto with a powerbomb takedown and a face buster as Junpei goes after Shuichi. Now Makoto kicking Kaito in the chest and the Lariat takedown. It's 
spinning back elbow or a spinning elbow drop to the back by Junpei. And now elbow to the back, rolling face buster. And a stomp to the face. Shuichi getting out of the way of that second stomp. As Kaito sends Makoto back into the ring and a takedown. Shuichi going for the pin, but Junpei kicking out at one. Junpei with a punch to the gut. And a shoulder barge. Kaito picking Makoto up and the military press face buster now going after Junpei. Rolling face buster going for the pin. Makoto uh, hopping off the top rope to uh, try to break that up. Junpei kicking up before he can. And now Makoto going for a pin. Kaito kicking out at one. Now Shuichi just waiting behind Makoto, waiting to be attacked. Junpei looking for the RKO, but Shuichi stepping out of the way. Makoto picked up by Kaito and Face Buster. And Shuichi with a neck breaker and then now just going for the taunts because the AI in this game is brain dead. Kaito with the spear. And now taunting on Makoto. Makoto with a clothesline to the back. Again, the AI in this game is absolutely fucking brain dead. Luigi picking Junpei up and a spinning punch to the face. A kick to the spine. Stomp to the wrist. Makoto with the stunner. And Shuichi with a uh, lever pull arm breaker. Shuichi picking Junpei up. And tossing him against the ropes, spinning axe punch. Going for the uh, going for the ground and pound, but Junpei with the reversal. And Makoto winning his battle against Junpei, or uh, excuse me, Kaito on the outside. Shuichi with the reversal right back. Makoto with a jumping face buster and the pin. Referee taking her time. And Kaito kicks out before the one count. Knife as chops, punch to the chest. Makoto with the reversal. Shuichi heading to the top rope, telling Junpei to get up to his feet. And a flying forearm from the top rope. Shuichi picking Junpei back up to his feet. And the double somersault into the kick to the chest. And now Shuichi just staring down at Makoto, because of course he is. Makoto, or excuse me, Shuichi turning Makoto around and a face buster going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Makoto kicks out. And Junpei looking for the double leg drop kick, but Shuichi rolling out of the way just in time and sends Junpei back into the ring. And the knee buster. Junpei sending Kaito for a run and a double leg drop kick to the chest. And now Junpei looking for the fireman's carry. Gut buster. And now Junpei goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Shuichi coming to the aid just in time. But Junpei. Punch to the chest. Shuichi reversing his way out. And now Makoto sending Kaito for a run because Kaito was just standing there.
and Shuichi taking the absolute worst path, but still getting the Junpei before he can get back up to his feet and sending him down with that punch. And now the arm pull as Makoto sends Kaito back into the ring. And Shuichi just literally running into Makoto, not even trying to attack. Kaito somehow connecting with that spear, allowing Shuichi to pick Makoto back up. And the takedown, looking for the armbar, looking to submit Makoto. Has it locked in? Makoto fighting his way out. As Kaito trying to regain his rhythm, going after Junpei. The face buster, Makoto going for the pin. Kaito's going to break that up. Makoto with a kick to the chest, sending Kaito into the corner barricade. And Kaito getting out of the way of that attack, picking Kaito, or uh, uh, excuse me, picking Junpei up and the face buster. Now stomp to the face. And Makoto going after Kaito, picking him up and a uh, front slam. But Kaito sending him into the barricade and running away because it's the AI, they're fucking stupid. And now Makoto, or excuse me, Shuichi going for a pin against Junpei. I thought Kaito was trying to break that up. No, he was trying to stomp Makoto in the, in the hand. And now Shuichi going for a finisher against Makoto. And of course Kaito messes that up and Shuichi's like, what the fuck are you doing? Junpei with the Enzigiri reversal, taking Kaito back up to his feet, turning him around. And the uh, uppercut to the back of the head. Shuichi uh, regaining control of his fight over Makoto. And a barricade gut buster. Kaito with another spear connects. Shuichi turning Makoto around, going for the finisher. And rolling, Face Buster going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Makoto somehow kicking out. And reversing Shuichi. Kaito picking Makoto back, or excuse me, Junpei up. Turning him around, and a backbreaker. And now Kaito going after Makoto, looking to make this a two-on-one. Shuichi with a neck breaker. And of course, he's not going to go for the pin, because, you know, that would be the smart thing to do. And if there's a smart thing to do, the AI is not going to do it, because 2K is a uh, shit. Backbreaker suplex by Kaito, going for the pin, Shuichi just staring. Shuichi at least try to fucking defend. Knee stunner by Shuichi, picking Makoto back up. Makoto with a kick to the chest and a stunner of his own Kaito, preventing him from doing any further damage. And a rolling face buster catching his face first against the great instead of going after him instead goes after Junpei Okay, rolling neckbreaker takedown And now the suplex Shuichi picking Junpei back up Rolling face buster Shuichi goes for the pain even though Makoto is gonna break that up. Yep. Yeah. Kaito picking Junpei back up to his feet. Junpei with the reversal. And the RKO. 
but not going for the pin. Instead, Junpei picking uh, Kaito up. And into the fireman's carry as Makoto goes for the pin, but only one count. But Junpei goes for a pin. There's one. There's two. And Kaito is not going to kick out. And the Shadow Slayer is picking up yet another win. This is like their second, third of the season? Very few and far between. And, uh, yeah, this match goes to show that, uh, you know, despite two years to fix this game, 2K just, you know, will always try to make their products worse. And now for our next match. Introducing first. It is the ultimate swimmer, Aoi Asahina. And her opponent, it is the baddest girl of Eclipse. The beautiful, it is former Miss Money, Money in the Bank, former Universal Champion, the Golden Girl, Miwiruma. Did I get all those? Did I get all the uh, titles? Probably not. The girl with the golden brains and golden body, according to her. And how many, uh, how many other titles does she have? Ultimate Inventor. I mean, if you wanted to truly go into the Dangarumpa uh, fandom, you have plenty of titles for her. Anyway. Referee rings the bell, and Mew immediately beginning with a jumping face buster into the pin. Howie kicks out at one. And Mew with the knife edge chop right across the throat, looking for the kick, but just barely out of range. That connects this time. And now, looking for the uppercut, uh, or excuse me, the high kick, and connects. Backflip splash into the pin. There's one. There's two. Owie kicks out. And Owie back to her feet. And the hair pull backbreaker. Catching Mew, taunting, and now face first into the corner, pulling Mew away, turning her round. And now. Spinning elbow in the middle of the ring. Picking you up and stomps to the, uh... The side. And the wrist clutch. Double knee backbreaker. And Owie fi uh, missing the grab. And now looking to submit Mew with a, a rear naked choke, a standing uh, sleeper hold, excuse me. But Mew very quickly getting out, tossing Owie for a run. 
but whiffing on the Irish whip and uh, deciding to shoulder barge this time, not having to deal with the Irish whip. Turning Aoi around, but Aoi with the back elbow and the jumping knee smash. Mew to her feet. Aoi with a springboard Superman punch going for the pin. There's one. Mew kicks out. Aoi with the running clothesline and again Mew going for the kick. Aoi catching it and tripping Mew up. And Aoi going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Mew kicks out. And Aoi with a Superman punch out of nowhere. Looking to drag Mew away, but Mew with the elbow. Aoi turning her around and hurting her hand in the process. Sending Mew for a run, but... Mew just completely running through, and a headbutt spear. Aoi re uh, rolling out of the way. Turning Mew around, picking her up over the shoulders, and a knee smash to the face, going for the pin. There's one. There's two. And Mew Aruma's not going to kick out. And okay, of course these sliders aren't like don't. Of course the sliders don't actually work because it's this game and it's inconsistent as hell. Great. And now for our penultimate matchup of the evening, introducing first, it is Hatsune Miku, our women's. Nexus Champion. Making her way to the ring, representing the Iconics from Japan, the Women's Undisputed, the Universal NXT World Champion, Me Q. And her opponent, it is Sophie.
And here we go, referee rings the bell for this penultimate, uh, penultimate matchup. And they both go for the kicks in the middle of the ring, but both whiff. And now Miku picking Sophie up and a sitting down power bomb going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Sophie kicks out. And Sophie looking for the back uh, back elbow, but Miku stepping out of the way. Knife edge shop connects this time, and a head scissor takedown by Sophie. Picking Miku back up to her feet. Looking for the kick, but Miku with the reversal and the knee to the face. Sending Sophie into the corner, chasing after her. Sophie stepping out of the way and a kick to the shin. Springboard backflip connects by Miku. Picking Sophie up in a knee right to the face. Miku with the ground and pound, a slap. Stomp to the back. And now Miku looking for the 12 6 elbows, but Sophie powering out and reversing that, and then just slapping Miku in the face. To the face and an elbow to the back of the head picking Miku back up and the running clotheslines slipping the clothesline of Miku's and a uh, nice kick to the chin and a reverse neck breaker picking Hatsune Miku back up and walking her to the western ropes and a kick right to the wrist And the backflip splash of her own going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Hatsune Miku kicks out. And now Sophie sending Miku for a run, but Miku getting out of the way. It's allowing Sophie to uh, bounce off the uh, turnbuckle herself. Jumping over. And the suplex. Sophie rolling to the outside. Hatsune Miku with a split leg takedown. Sophie rolling out of the way. But Hatsune Miku with the kicks. Picking her back up. And Sophie tossing her face first into the ring post. There's four. And Sophie's sending Miku back into the ring. Climbing, jumping back in herself. And looking for the vice grip. And just sending Hatsune Miku face first into the mat, going for the pin. There's one. Hatsune Miku kicks out at one. Now rolling out. Rolling back in. Sophie grabbing her by her collar and just punched to the chest. And a knee smash to the nose. And another slap to the face. And Sophie with a knee to the uh to the nose. There's two. Hatsune Miku kicks out. And a split leg leg breaker. And a handstand double knee drop by Sophie. And another turnstile knee smash. As Sophie climbs to the middle rope, crossed by Splash, connecting to the legs, going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Hatsune Miku gets her shoulder up. Sophie picking Miku back up. And the running bulldog. As now Sophie makes her way to the top rope. 180 splash. There's one. 
There's two, and Miku still kicks out. The crowd wants one more top rope maneuver. Sophie kicking Hatsune Miku in the thigh, but Miku eventually kicking her off. Looking to get some offense going again. Sending Sophie into the corner. And a running high boot. Sophie rolling to the outside. Hatsune Miku with a split leg takedown. And a knee to the face. Picking Sophie back up. And tossing her back into the ring. Miku climbing onto the apron and just taunting to the crowd, allowing Sophie to spear her off. And now Sophie to the top rope. Looking to fly here. Missile dropkick. And Sophie picking Miku back up to her feet and tossing her back into the ring. Jumping back in herself. Picking Miku back up. Looking for the finisher, but Miku with the reversal and a head scissor takedown. Sophie immediately back up to her feet, but Miku with the suplex. Sophie very quick to her feet again, but again Miku quick with the, uh, with the offense. And a knee to the back. Whiffing on the grab as Sophie was just crawling back too quickly. Running Bulldog. And so Nimiku picking Sophie back up again. And another suplex. Picking her up by her hair this time. And Hatsune Miku with a third suplex. Picking Sophie back up. She is not quite done. Half hitch knee raises. And again picking Sophie back up to her feet. Looking for some more knees to the chest. As now Hatsune Miku. Looking to fly. Looking to dive. Corkscrew splash. Goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Sophie kicks out. And a knee to the chest. Axe kick to the back of the head. Picking Sophie back up. Sophie with a kick to the chest to reverse. Sending Hatsune Miku, uh, Hatsune Miku for a run. Diving underneath. Double knee kick. Just pulling on the arm. Sophie not quite into the corner yet, picking Hatsune Miku back up and tripping her up. As now Sophie makes her way to the corner, hopping to the top rope. And another 180 splash. Going for the pin, there is one, there is two, and Hatsune Miku fails to kick out. And hopefully Hatsune Miku doesn't take this uh, negative momentum into her title match against Kasumi Yoshizawa. Still looking to become the first double champion. And now for our main event of the evening. Introducing first. It is your former Men's Universal Champion, Izusuke Kitagawa. Man, it's been a while since I've done that.
the Phantom Fox. And his opponent, it is... Okay... Uh, oh. Okay, um... I'm assuming the Praetorian... I'm, I'm assuming the Praetor is there just to, uh... Just for support ringside? Because... Yusuke is supposed to be going up against the skeleton... Imperator, but something tells me that uh, it's not going to be that easy. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 261 pounds, the Undead! Oh. I see. This is a surprise tornado tag, or a surprise uh, one on two handicap match. Yeah, when I said that these guys will do anything to win a match, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. This is scheduled to be a one on one match between USK and the Skeleton Imperator, but. Surprise, it's now a two-on-one. Tornado tag. Godspeed, Yusuke. Godspeed. And all three men are ready, I suppose. Okay. Yusuke immediately going after the Praetor uh, the, the Praetor, as now the Imperator with a springboard crossbody splash going for the pin. There's one. Yusuke kicks out. Yeah, Yusuke is going to have a... Um, he's going to have a time because... Yeah, with how the AI, with how the tag team AI works in this game, it's going to be constant pinfall breakups. The Imperator with an arm breaker picking Yusuke up off his feet, and a jumping arm breaker into the reverse Fujiwara armbar, just really working on that left hand. As now the Praetori, uh, the Praetor going for a pin, there's one. Yusuke kicks out, still at one. Double leg drop kick connects. And now Yusuke rolling to the outside. Split leg takedown by the Imperator. And now both men taunting in his face. There's a two count. Fox with the arm drag against the Praetor. 
and now picking him up. And a neck breaker. If Fox wants to win this match, this is what he has to do. He has to split them up. And now Fox climbing back into the ring, going after the Imperator, who immediately tosses him right into his teammate, and there's a jumping reverse RKO. Fox kicking the, uh, the Praetor off of him. And a neck breaker. The Imperator uh, failing an elbow drop. And now Fox with the right hand back elbows by the Praetor. And a neck breaker. Fox rolling onto the apron trying to catch his breath. And a, uh, a nice reversal by Fox. Looking for the springboard, but the Imperator preventing him from doing so. And some nice tag team, or a nice uh, team effort by the, uh, by the Skeleton Legion. And now they're just showing off. Picking the Imperator up, or excuse me, the Praetor up. And a Neckbreaker cross by Splash connects from the Imperator. Now a stomping arm breaker as the Imperator, or excuse me, the Praetor went underneath, picked up a steel chair and just tossed it aside. Maybe thinking that he might use it later, I'm not entirely sure what the plan was. Rolling face buster. And now, the Legion trying to trap him in a corner, and Fox still kicking out at one. Now rolling to the outside, the Imperator, or excuse me, the Praetor with, oh, nice double dodge. Nice double dodge by Fox, but now he's just taunting in their face. The, Imper uh, the Praetor not taking too kindly to that, and now the Imperator waiting to be elbowed in the chest in the ribs. Now the Praetor telling Fox to bring it on. The Praetor, or yeah, Praetor with the reverse. Oh, there's a suplex. There's a six count by the referee. Make that seven. Pra uh, the Praetor with a kick to the chest and tossing Fox into the ring at the count of eight. And now sliding into the ring before the 9 count. Now the Imperator trying to rake the eyes of Fox while as best he can with the mask. And Fox with the reversal, but the Praetor waiting and a rolling face buster. Fox again rolling to the outside. And a neck breaker. But Fox getting out of the way of that stomp, but failing on the forearm. The Praetor with the reversal and the back elbow telling Fox off. And now picking up the chair and just dropping it as he uh as the referee was watching. Now just everyone just catching their breath. a two count <laughs> wow I thought the Imperator missed that but no he somehow hit and now telling Fox off and just yeah I think they're trying to make a statement here with how much they're taunting Fox yeah it's a four count the Praetor back into the ring Fox tossing the Imperator into the ring before the, the Praetor crossbodies him. And honestly, if I was the Imperator, I would try to distract the ref so that the Imperator so that the Praetor could use the chair. Because he clearly wants to use it. He just hasn't had the opportunity. I mean he could get disqualified. Crossbody splash. 
resetting the count back to one, and now they're just trying to do as much damage to Fox as possible. Picking up the chair and just tossing it to the side again. A shot to the chest. Fox with a kick. But the, uh, the repair are just tossing him into the barricade, picking up the chair, and just tossing it onto Fox. Again, clearly wanting to use that chair. Get disqualified, coward. And now trading places with his teammate. The impaired or the Praetor back into the ring. Fox trying to catch his breath on the apron as the Legion. Uh, they are not. I mean. They are not taking this seriously at all. I mean, why would they? They're trying to run the place. Fox, very well done! Imperator with a kick to the chest, but... Fox with a pin-up. Just trying to do whatever he can. Tossing the, the Praetor for a run. And a backbreaker. The Imperator back into the ring. There's a... Or, uh, uh, back to his senses. There's a face buster. There's one... There's two Fox kicks out at two. Hey, win or lose, give. Uh, give Yusuke. Oh, nice dodge. Give Yusuke credit here. He was not at all prepared. This was an ambush. And he is taking it on the chin. Accidentally kicking the referee. This could very well give the Skeleton Legion a chance to use that chair. Uh, no. The Imperator is too much of a coward. Okay. Fox rolling out of the way of air. As the Imperator, uh, the Praetor trips him up. And now a neckbreaker. Going for the pin. There's one. There's two Fox kicks out. Fox rolling to the outside. The Praetor asking, hey, what's wrong? Fight us on the inside of the ring. The Imperator with a cross or with a split leg takedown. Both skeletons back into the ring. Praetor back to the outside, picking Fox back up to his feet. Fox with a kick to the chest. And a backbreaker, and now just taunting on the on the Praetor. The Imperator back into the ring. Or excuse me, the Praetor back into the I mean... I know who I'm talking about, I just constantly get their names mixed up because I am bad with names. And now the Imperator... Excuse me, the Praetor heading underneath the ring, picking up a kendo stick, and again, is too much of a coward to use it. Spinning backbreaker by Fox. Kick to the chest. And a backflip into the neckbreaker. And now Fox goes for the pin. There's one, kicks out. And the Imperator's just boogieing out. Face Buster, the Imperator picking him up to his feet, turning him around. The Imperator getting in the way. Double leg drop kick. Yusuke again rolling to the outside, landing on the chair. And there's a twisting neck breaker. And again, the Praetor picking up the steel chair and is too cowardly to use it. Fox with the reversal. Like, oh, I, 
I know I've said it before in this match, but Fox, he is certainly giving it all. I was expecting this as soon as I saw... <gasps> Phantom leg drop. Phantom leg drop. Going for the pin. Uh, referee had no idea what was going on, but hey, Fox got a pin. Fox got a pin attempt. Now the Praetor looking for the finish. But uh, the Imperator preventing him from doing so with a double leg drop kick to the back. So the Praetor just settling with a heel hook. Never settle. Fox with the reversal. And he is putting on a show tonight. Turning the tables. Walking the Praetor over to the western, or excuse me, to the eastern ropes. And the referee getting in the way. Fox sending the Imperator into the corner, the Praetor into the corner, and a kick to the back of the head. Baseball slide suplex. And now Fox heading underneath the ring, picking up a baseball bat. He might be getting desperate here. The Imperator picking Fox up and a neckbreaker. Fox rolling to the outside. Crossbody splash by the Praetor. Now Fox tossing the Imperator into the into the barricade. Now knife edge chops, uppercut. Knee to the gut. And the referee should really stop focusing on the count out and focus more on what's happening inside the ring. Fox forcing the pair of the uh, Praetor outside of the ring as the Imperator is looking for the finisher from the corner. There's a spear, but Fox getting his knee up. And the Phantom Leg Drop connects with the Imperator, or excuse me, the Praetor immediately in the ring. Fox with the reversal and the takedown. Fox picking the Imperator up, or excuse me, the Praetor up, and a knee to the face going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Fox almost getting it done. He was one count away. Suplex. The Imperator rolling out. Kick to the gut. And a chicken wing face buster. The Imperator, excuse me, the Praetor going for the pin. There's one. There's two. Fox kicks out. And now again, both skeletons in the ring. This is not something you want to see if you're Fox. All of your hard work being undone. Backbreaker. Picking Fox back up to his feet. And tossing him into the corner. And from one corner to the other. And again sending him cross country. And the curb stomp from the middle rope. There's one, there's two. Fox kicks out. Now the Imperator with some stomps. There's one, there's two. Fox still kicking out. Looking for the spear, but the Imperator just stepping, or excuse me, the Praetor just stepping out of the way. Fox kicking Praetor off of him, the Imperator with a face buster. Fox rolling out, the Imperator, excuse me, the Praetor to the top rope, the Imperator looking for the spear, and the, pair, uh, the Praetor getting the attack, but accidentally, uh, inadvertently hurting the Imperator in the process. 
And now Fox, very slow to his feet. I think he's exhausted. The Imperator, or excuse me, the Predator tossing him back into the ring. Fox back to his feet. Looking for the forearm whiffed. Fox with a nice back elbow. But the uh, Predator with the reversal. Fox with the reversal right back. The Imperator, or excuse me, the Predator turning him around. And a face buster. The Imperator picking him back up to his feet. And a punch right to the throat. Fox onto the apron. With the reversal. Heading back in. And Fox with a face buster. The, Imper the Praetor with a double leg drop kick. And now climbing middle rope. Crossbody splash, but Fox with the reversal. And the backbreaker. Sling blade takedown by the Imperator going for the pin. There's one. There's two Fox kicks out. Fox is not going to go down easy. He is going to... He is making the Skeleton Legion fight for it. There's a spear... And I don't think the Legion were wait. I don't think they were ready for this. There's two. Fox still kicks out. I don't think the Legion were ready for this when they set up the ambush. Fox rolling to the outside. The Praetor joining him on the outside. Split leg takedown by the Imperator. Raider tossing Fox back into the ring. And now the Praetor looking for the finisher, but of course the Imperator just not, you know, preventing that from happening because, you know, what's communication? Fox with the reversal. Kick to the gut. Fox punching his way out. And now picking the Imperator up. And there's a neck breaker. The Praetor turning him around. Rolling arm breaker. Knee to the face, goes for the pin, there's one, there's two, Fox getting his shoulder up. And now again rolling to the outside. Reverse spear by the Praetor. Getting out of the way of that stomp and uh, knee kind of connects. And the pre or excuse me, the Imperator with a jumping neckbreaker. And again, the Praetor just boogieing. What are you doing, Praetor? Cross by splash from the Imperator. Stomp to the wrist. Trapping the hand. Arm breaker. The Praetor, or excuse me, Imperator back into the ring. There's a six count. Pick up the seal chair, and again, too much of coward to use it. There's seven fox. Heading back into the ring, prevent, or, uh, Stopping the taunt. And there's the power bomb. Back elbow. Fox not going for the pin. 
backbreaker. And again, Fox rolling to the outside. <sighs> it's keeping him alive, certainly, but... This is ridiculous. Lost by Splash connects. And now the Imperator just boogieing out. The Praetor just taunting Fox. Three. Sleeping. I thought the I thought the Imperator was going to use the Kendo Stick, but no. Too much of a coward. Fox with a kick to the chest. But the Imperator... Okay, Fox again! Making them... Uh, making their masks collide. And now tossing the Imperator... Or excuse me, the Praetor into the corner. The Imperator with a kick to the chest. A uh, nice dodge by Fox. And Fox with the reversal. There's seven. The Imperator missing on the crossbody. Pick up the Kendo stick, not going to use it. Tossing Fox into the steel steps. Like I am no I have no idea how they're still going. Use the weapon, coward. Now Fox sending the Praetor into the corner barricade. And again, just stop taunting. Seriously, stop taunting. Sending him into the barricade. Picking him up. There's seven. I don't know what Fox is waiting for. There's eight. Both men back into the ring. Rolling neckbreaker. Arm pull. There's one, there's two, and finally... Fox putting up one hell of an effort. But the Skeleton Legion just overwhelming, uh, overwhelming him in the end. And as we watch the replays and the Skeleton Legion, um, celebrate their victory. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here tonight and hope to see you on Sunday for our 8-bit brawl and for some reason the music isn't working. Yeah, hope to see you on Sunday for our 8-bit brawl and in just over a month's time it is time for the Royal Rumble. But until then, we are signing out from Madison, Wisconsin. See ya.